I forgot to actually check this beforehand, but I've heard on several videos, I've heard via podcast cringe, I've heard now through the forums and other places, people keep mentioning that the comment section of the recent episode that features Andrew Schultz on the JRE is some of the best comment section stuff that people have ever seen. The jokes write themselves. So as we open the show, I actually want to check this and see for myself if the jokes, if the insults, if the ha-has, if the he-he's about Andrew Schultz on JRE are true. Let's have a look, see what happened here because Andrew Schultz was on Jerry recently. A lot of people didn't like it. A lot of people who aren't fans of Schultz use this opportunity to kick him because he's pretty easy to not like. I think he's nice. No, I think he's easy to get behind in some ways because I think he's come up as being quite interesting. I, for one, really did enjoy when he first came around. I find him to be a little bit, you know, insufferable and obnoxious. So I don't really listen to his pod that much on its own. But there are occasions where it can be good and there are occasions where his content can be good. I think some of the stuff he's put out recently, his little crowd work stuff that he's done, the jokes in terms of you know ragging on Meek Mill, ragging on Diddy have been really funny. So clearly he does have the chops in terms of stand-up. He takes the craft very seriously. He takes himself probably a little bit too seriously. So he has got some benefits and some positives. Like I could see why people would like him. For me, I find all the leg slapping and all the you know weird wigger talk to be a little bit strange a little bit off-putting um you know just for me personally and also i've kind of known of andrew schultz for a while when he was first on fucking brilliant idiots and stuff and that personality and how he was on there is still kind of hard to forget and um, he's obviously evolved and matured and he's a lot better i think as a person but if you know of andrew schultz when he was on brilliant idiots i remember there was a particular episode where, Sh where charlemagne had to have an intervention with him Charlemagne had an intervention with Andrew Schultz live on air, telling him basically to calm the fuck down, like chill out. You know what I mean, you're trying too hard, you're doing too much, you're being annoying. Like he really was being too much on that show at one point. And to be fair to him, he did take that advice on the chin and he did actually change. And I think ever since then, he's been pretty decent. Um, I still think his first appearance on GRE, his first ever appearance on GRE was pretty legendary. I know people won't agree and they're going to, you know, act, act like it wasn't good. But I think his first appearance for like a trial to like prove himself to be like a good friend of Rogan. No, no, his trial so he could be a friend of Rogan's, I think was a really good trial. He did perform incredibly well. Um, he came on there and absolutely blew Rogan, blew Rogan away. Maybe did end up actually blowing Rogan to a certain extent. And ever since then, they've been kind of pals. And if anything, he's kind of replaced other folks like, you know, Callan and a few other people, maybe even, even fucking Brendan Schaub in terms of being a part of that it hallowed inner circle of fucking Rogan. So the first ever appearance, actually, judging by the... No, it can't be. It can't be. That can't be right. So I think judging by what I have on here, the first... When I'm looking at my thing, the first solo appearance of Andrew Schultz on JRE was episode number what? one two six five that was the first ever episode so i think that episode for me personally was one of my favorites i think he did really well on there a really good way to kind of you know trial yourself on that big show but ever since then it's kind of been downhill unfortunately so let's check out these comments and see what people have been saying about andrew short's appearance on gre it's going to be interesting to see well gone from here and um, big up everybody in the stream chat appreciate you for tuning in big up joel from mia thank you for hanging out brother thank good to be here i'm um, good f i'm happy you're here and i'm happy we're here together uh big up ruben rivera big up josh sees i see you too big up all Mike. was that all righty as well well gone hope you're well hope you're well let's read through the comments here regarding andrew Schultz's appearance look at all the times that oh my god this is gonna be a good one look at this this is gonna be good so look at look at the comments First one, Andrew's the kind of guy to go ask your girlfriend everything is okay between you two when you're not around. <laughs> <coughs> oh my God. Oh my God. You instantly know who that guy is. We all know who that guy is. Um, I have to like this. Andrew is the type of guy who finishes your sentence and now it's his idea. Timestamps. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay. When Andrew called himself an empath, I almost spat out my coffee. Bill Burr just wrote to people for saying they're empaths on April the 4th podcast. <coughs> cool. Guests like him make me appreciate the comment section being back. Exactly. Good point. Andrew looks like he went to do a show in Germany, then escaped to Argentina. Amazing. The amount of times this dude says yeah should be outlawed in all 50 states. I didn't even notice that. I didn't notice he has a tendency to do yeah that often. 
to drop the years. Really, I didn't. I didn't notice that at all. I'm not gonna lie. That's something I have never noticed. Let's actually go back to those timestamps. Let's see what, what. Let's see. Let's see these timestamps. Yeah. 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 Exactly. You're yeah. just like. Yes. And it's yes. Not just yes, there. yes. Yes. It's everywhere. My Fox News, CNN, yeah, yeah. everyone. There's raids <laughs> at Diddy's house. Yeah. 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 How, how does a guy like him? <laughs> yeah. 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 Like yeah I'm yeah. trying to think. Respect. Yeah. Giving respect. Getting respect. Yeah. Making sure that you know. You cover all your statements. Yeah, like if you say something, you have to make sure. You okay, we have to get that one on streamable. We have to get that one on streamable. Let's go streamable. Let's go streamable. We have to get that up on streamable. Let's see if we can get this on streamable. So I think it's seven five one to seven five eight. Respect. Yeah. Giving respect. Getting respect. Yeah. Making sure that you know you cover all your statements. Yeah, like if respect. Yeah. Giving yeah. respect. Yeah. Getting respect. Yeah. Making yeah. sure that you know. You cover all your statements. Yeah, like... <laughs> Love it. <coughs> Let's go back to the comments. Andrew's moustache isn't allowed within 500 feet of a school. Oh my God, brilliant. Andrew Schultz is the type of guy that wakes up his family to let them know he's going to sleep. <laughs> Big up Patrick Rambles. <sighs> Schultz looks like he's going to release a book titled My Struggle. Andrew Schultz is the kind of guy to go to a Gangnam Style to go... To, the kind of guy to do the Gangnam Style in the club, 100%. These hate comments have restored my faith in humanity, 100%. Andrew's the exact type of guy that thinks comedians are modern-day philosophers. Like that one. When is Joe going to get 50 Cent on? That would be a great episode. Shut up. I don't know how Joe is able to focus and talk with all the years and Andrew talking over him. Andrew is the type of guy who makes you like every comment in the comment section. Yep. Andrew is still auditioning for Inglorious Bastards, lols. Andrew's the type of guy who thinks his podcast is worth 300 million but sells for being an employee, Shane Gillis. Oh, Netflix, okay. Haircut is $14. Andrew only had five. <laughs> <coughs> that is a really good one. Underrated one. Haircut is $14. Andrew only had five. Time Times Guy, who stood strong through 2,131 previous episodes of Joe Rogan Experience, saw the GRE 231. It was almost four hours of Andrew Schultz and decided, nope, I can't do it and quit. I'm here for the roast of Andrew Schultz. With success, life can get easier. Andrew Schultz, 2024. With success, life can get easier. Honestly, I have to I have to have this one. Let me, I have to have this one. This is a good little fucking quote. So redacted. So redacted. Andrew's the type of guy to ask you for advice, then explain all the reasons your advice is bad. Ah. <laughs> Joe should have scheduled a black guy to come on halfway through so we could have two hours of white Schultz and two hours of black Schultz. Wow, is that what they're saying? They're saying Schultz is a chameleon, right? Racial chameleon. When he's around the black guys, he's like, yeah, man, y'all, you know how it is. <laughs> and then when he's around the whites, he's like, I'm captivated by the fucking cosmos. You know? <laughs> I'm an empath, the worst girl you've ever met, and also Rogue Schultz, exactly. I think character is like cardio, is the most Joe Rogan thing I've ever heard. <laughs> exactly. If cocaine was personality, it would be sh Oh, yeah. Oh. Can you imagine? If cocaine was a personality, it would be Schultz. Imagine, imagine what they'd be like on drugs. That, that's why I don't think they're on drugs. I think these guys are just, you know, naturally annoying and naturally a lot to deal with. But I think if they, if they had the... You know, if there was a plus, if there was an extra caveat, if there was an extra, extra patina of fucking drugs involved, they'd be on another level. I don't think they're on drugs personally. I don't think so. I really don't think so. But I could be wrong. Laughed more reading the comments and watching the pod. Bra had a whole empathy about, no, Bra had a whole epiphany, sorry, about being a hard worker and thought he was being like Plato or something. Shane has never been more right about Andrew Epiphanies, exactly. Andrew interviewed that that CIA agent guy and now he thinks he's the same person. If Andrew did a naked handstand, he would look exactly the same. <laughs> Andrew's barber is also a comedian. Andrew talking sorry, Andrew taking being a yes man to a whole other level. We need a year ticker on this one. Oh, I'd love it if you compared it, because someone compared the, the man of years. I wonder if you can compare who says yeah more? Peak Brendan Schaub on Rogan or Schultz on Rogan? Who says yeah the most? Who agrees with Joe Rogan the most? 
Three minutes in, and he's already had two fake Schultz epiphanies. Schultz the type of guy to ask questions he thinks he already knows the answer to. Andrew is the type of guy that sounds like that one Usher song. Though that is, love the way they're watching Saucy throw it back while smoking cigars like they're out in the old movie. Such a stark contrast. True. Andrew looks like he's wearing a Tour de France helmet. Schultz's character arc was amazing. From a likable, charismatic guy to someone I'd leave mid-conversation due to bo- due to boredom and ego driven. Yeah, not so exactly. Yeah, Andrew definitely is the person at the bar or at the club that you bump into and you initially think, "Oh, this person's quite cool," and you're wondering why. Why hasn't he got any friends around him? And then halfway through the conversation, you realize, "Oh shit, this is why he hasn't got any friends." Because he's fucking insufferable. You know, he's that kind of guy. You're like, oh my God, this is such a decent dude. He's such a cool dude. I can see myself hanging out with this guy. And halfway through, you're like, fuck this. You're looking for an exit and you just, whoever you can latch onto to run away, you run away. Came just to read the comments. Much more entertaining than Andy. Wow, the comments are so negative. I thought that Bert was on. Lols. I'm so glad YouTube comments are back on the podcast. Insufferable was a person. Oh, look. Andrew morph into Gomez Adams is almost complete. Who the fuck is Gomez Adams? What's, what's Gomez Adams? Is that from the Adams family, right? The person from the Adams I, I never watched Adams family, I'm assuming. That's probably why, right? That's hilarious. That's hilarious. To be fair, this guy looks way cooler than, than fucking Andrew Schultz, to be fair. This Gomez Adams character looks way, way cooler. I'm not going to lie. But yeah, no problem. Let's continue with the Schultzy roast. I love seeing Joe so proud of his daughter's art. Um, Andrew looks like he had an emergency and had to leave mid haircut. Andrew's the type of guy to close the fridge door with his hip. <laughs> That's hilarious. Joe, I like burgers. Andrew, really? Why? Oh, yeah, I know. Oh, yeah, I throw them on the grill. They're delicious. Andrew, interesting, interesting. Wow, that's fascinating. That's really hilarious. Andrew looks like he's ready to invade Poland. Um, Andrew Schultz setting in as a new Brendan Shaw nicely. SOS someone saved this man from his barber. Four hours of Schultz. Where am I? Guantanamo Bay? <laughs> Andrew Schultz doesn't know who Caligula was, but he knows Saucy Santana. Exactly. That's very true. <laughs> doesn't know Caligula, but knows Saucy Santana. How many, how many times do you think of Rome? Never. How many times do you think of Saucy Santana? Always. Cool. Makes sense. The comment section about to be as wonky as Andrew Schultz's haircut. Andrew's type of dude who gives you constant unwarranted advice. Joe, regular sex simultaneously. You're not going to shit on me. Nobody gives it up for Andrew like Andrew. <laughs> That's a good one. Uh, and a couple more and then we'll move on. Joe should do a podcast after this one, but only with Jamie. They need to read all the comments of this episode. I love Schultz for a while. He really let his success get to his head. Flagrant has been unlistable for a long time. Yeah, I don't listen to Flagrant anymore, to be fair. It's just, for me, I'm not going to lie. There's just too many voices on Flagrant. I think that's what really started to annoy me. It's just too many people, too much things you have to keep, you know, an, an ear out up in the open for. It's just, it's like, it's like morning radio. There's the guy, there's the person across from them. There's the dude on the fucking mixing board. There's sound effects. It's just like too much. Like then there's a commercial. It's just, it's all over the place for me. There's too many people. Um, I think that they, they do do a good job when it's just them and no guest. They do do a good job at not talking over each other too much to be fair to them. But still, it's just too much for me, man. Too much stimuli. The people who've turned on shows hard. And last one, it's so annoying listening to Andrew talk about things he talked about 50 times while trying to act like he's the first time he's came up to realization. And the last, last one, wonder why Schultz doesn't have epiphanies anymore since Shane noticed it. Oh yeah, good point. Yeah, he doesn't do the whole, he doesn't do the whole like in the sky thing anymore. He just does try to do it as casually as possible. But yeah, what an incredible comment section. Big up everybody that fucking partook. Um, this has probably been one of the great things about Rogan coming back on YouTube. Now that he's got the best deal ever, to be fair, Rogan, he got more cash out of Spotify, non-exclusive, so he can sp- do his stuff on fucking YouTube. It's back on Apple Podcast. But the most important thing <coughs> is the YouTube comments. Similar to Resident Advisor. Resident Advisor, my main sort of like dance music website that I go on, that I always fucking talk about on here. Um, back in the day, Resident Advisor used to be the best place to fucking find, you know, great news about dance music and shit. But the comment section was the best because every year Resident Advisor will have like a top DJs of 2023, whatever, right? Top top mixes, top songs. 
And even though sometimes the top official list from the website was good, the comment section was even better. So you'd get all these recommendations of six songs to check out, six DJs to check out, all from the comment section. But then I think one year the comments got a bit rowdy and, you know, RA got scared of scaring away some big sponsors and big DJs and they fucking deleted the comment section. And RA has been fucking shit ever since. So the great thing about YouTube, even though some YouTube videos can be terrible, I feel like it's a comment section. The comment section is always sometimes a place where you get some of the best laughs, great recommendations, and just a great little, you know, quote unquote community. So I think Rogan, especially with the show being, you know, the podcast being very hit or miss, I think the best thing is always to the comments. And sometimes it's nice when you're watching a show and you're listening, especially for me, I, I don't know about you, but I listen to a lot of Rogan. I don't really watch it on YouTube or I have it playing on a background on my YouTube. Now I've got YouTube premium, but um, it's nice sometimes listening to an episode of Rogan and then thinking to yourself, is it only me or is this person annoying is it only me or is this person being quite like obtuse is this only me or is this person being a little bit cunty is it only me or this person hardly talking and then you go to the comments and usually somebody reaffirms your suspicions or something or maybe counters it and says something else but the comment section is always the fucking best so unfortunately for schultz he had to be the first victim of it you know in a big way but those comments are fucking brutal and they're fucking fantastic big up everybody that partook actually you know what i'm gonna do one more time before i fucking leave let's sort it out by best oh it's already done by top okay cool we've already done it doesn't matter cool let's move on let's fucking move on